Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm just going to show you how I make my uh, cotton ball fire starters. And at the end of showing you how I make them, you'll see me lighting my gasifier stove with one. So basically, first of all, I'll take a baggie and I'll flip it inside out. Like so, or you know, you really doesn't really matter if you flip it or not, I guess. Just if you were going to close it again, you'd want it flipped so you could zip lock it. And I'll uh, grab some petroleum jelly, Vaseline, and flip it back. Just a little flip here. Throw some of my cotton balls in, depending on how much. Um, <coughs> excuse me, depending on how much petroleum jelly you have in there. And you just basically mush it all around on top of them, in through it. Try to get it around them as much as you can. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. So basically I'm taking petroleum jelly, 100% cotton balls, in a bag, and putting the petroleum jelly all through the cotton balls. Or, you know, a lot of it through it anyways. Okay, now let's flip that bag back around. Keep that for another time. I already have a bunch made up here as you can see. But just for demonstration purposes. So yeah. Let's Fluff that around a bit. Get over to the side. Alright, get that jelly through. Oh. Now I find these things really work good, even with when you're trying to light wet wood or tinder. I don't use them all the time. I just normally have them for emergency purposes, really. Okay, so then I will be showing you how I melt my wax down and uh, the dipping process. Yeah, I already had my wax melting. I used Parawax this time. Uh, but you can use crayons, candles, anything wax, beeswax. This is what the pear wax looks like. Uh, <clears throat> but basically you do a, a double boil or a two boil where the water is boiling in one pan and your wax is in another pan in the boiling water. This is the safest way of doing it so there's there's no, nothing going to catch on fire because like, that wax is very flammable. Flammable. So then once that's melted, as you can see, then I do my dipping. So when it comes time to dip, I'll just basically take my warm hot wax there, take my cotton ball, give it a quick dip, and out. On to the next one. I don't leave it in too long for the first dip because it'll just completely soak it rock hard. Oops. That might be too long. That might not be too bad. Still not too heavy. I'm just sitting it on wax paper here, so it's easier to get off. And a lot of times I'll just throw it in the freezer, let it to cool down quicker, and then do another dip to put another layer of wax on it. Okay, so I just had put those in the freezer for a little bit to cool down, and now I'm going to dip them again. This time it won't soak in as much because it'll be grabbing on the outer layer. Let's open this up a bit. There we go. But the first time you dip them, you want them in and out pretty quick, or it's just going to soak right through, and and then you don't have any cotton to ignite your spark. I mean, you can still light them, of course, with a with a lighter or whatever. But the way I'm making these is so the spark can catch them. Okay, so there's a second dip. 
Now, as those are uh, in the freezer cooling down, I'll show you some of the other ones I've been experimenting with. These are just cotton pads. It's got to be 100% cotton, whatever you use. Or you could use like uh, dryer land, which is pretty much 100% cotton also. Um, yeah, so. Now, I didn't use any petroleum jelly in these. I'm going to see how they work. But they're nice and hard. This one was done like so I just let that one soak right in with some crayon just to see what would happen and it's just a little too much you could light that with the lighter of course and it'll burn for a while that's for sure but to try to get that going with just a spark a ferro rod hmm, might have some difficulty that's why you need a little bit of that uh, the cotton the fluff up in the inside dry cotton to catch the spark So here's the finished product. So now they're waterproof and very flammable. What you get, all you have to do, you break them open, you fluff up the cotton, spark them. It'll take off really good with spark. Real, well, I mean lighter, of course, definitely. And like I said, I don't. Always, I'm not always using these to light my fires. I have them for emergency purposes, really, to be honest. Like if I need to in damp conditions and I really had to get a fire going and all my tinder was wet outside, this is what I'd be going to. There's lots of stuff you can buy on the market for sure and it's all good stuff. But I just thought I'd just show you how I make mine. I just like playing around and making my own stuff, you know. It's not no real preference. I don't not not gonna try to say it's better than something you could buy, that's for sure, but it does the job and it's fun making it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Like. I'm going to use um, some homemade fire starter that I that I make. I mean, it's quite popular. There's lots of YouTube videos on it and whatnot. It's basically cotton, 100% cotton ball. Uh, I put uh, petroleum jelly all through the cotton ball, and I make them whatever shape I want to make them. And then I dipped them in hot wax to put a waterproof coating over them. Just an extra coating for waterproof plus the wax burns quite a while. So it works out all right. You just break them open and pull. Get some strands out. Some some of the cotton so it can ignite just like so as you can see it lights right up pretty quick I mean, not that I really needed it out here with all the birch bark, but it's a good source to have just in your pack in case you ever need it. 